Hello everybody, this is Lisa from Pressure Crisp and today on Pressure Crisp we're going to be making jasmine rice and butter chicken and the ninja foodie. It's going to be a little pot and pot cooking. On Amazon I was able to pick up one of these Sayon stainless steel cook bowls. It's pretty cool because it comes apart so you actually have two stainless steel bowls. The top one has a lid that comes off. We're going to be cooking the jasmine rice in this one. Um, and we're going to be cooking the chicken right in the bottom. All right, so let's just jump in and get started. Okay, so to get started, you're going to take your Sayon pot, it's in one of the stainless steel containers, or if you have another brand, use that. We're just going to go ahead and take our rice. It's one cup of rice. Put that right in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. You want to rinse your jasmine rice under cold water until the water runs clear. To this, I'm going to go ahead and add a cup and a half of water. Let's give that a shake. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on and we're just going to set this to the side. You're also going to need a trivet to put on top of the chicken. Once again, put that to the side. Okay, let's go over the ingredients. You're going to need 1.5 to 2 pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. They're cut up into like 2 inch to 3 inch pieces. You're also going to need one can of diced tomatoes that have been pureed either in a food processor or blender. It's a 14.5 ounce can. You're also going to need one teaspoon of kosher salt quarter teaspoon of chili powder, two teaspoons of paprika, you're going to need three teaspoons of garam masala, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, and two teaspoons of ground coriander, two minced garlic cloves, and also if you can find this in your store. This will save you a lot of time. This is a stir-in paste. <clears throat> Excuse me. Basically, it's a ginger paste. You can find it at most grocery stores. But if you don't have this, you can use a fresh piece of like one inch ginger and you want that minced. Okay, so that does it with our ingredients list. So let's just go over to the Ninja Foodie. All right, you're going to go ahead and make sure, you, make sure your ceramic bowl is in your Ninja Foodie. You're going to go ahead and turn it on. We're going to go to sear saute. We're going to leave it on high and we're going to press start. Okay, so to this, we're just going to add a splash of olive oil or your oil of choice. Um, if you're going to add coconut oil at the end, I would definitely go with a coconut oil here. So to this, we're going to add garlic, Ginger paste, that's about two tablespoons of ginger paste. And you're going to add your tomato sauce. Let's make sure we get all that out of there. There we go. And the rest of your spices. Move that out of the way. We're just going to go ahead and put the one teaspoon of salt in, the garam masala, the three teaspoons of garam masala, the two teaspoons of paprika, the quarter teaspoon of chili powder, the half teaspoon of turmeric, and the two teaspoons of coriander powder. And we're just going to give this a stir. This might seem like a lot of spice. But um, when you're making homemade like Indian food, you use a lot of spice. And by using like the garam masala, actually be cheated, or there'd probably be like four or five <clears throat> more spices that would be added to this. Oh, that's this, oh my God, this smells amazing. Put that to the side. We're just gonna go ahead and add our chicken. Give this a stir. You want all this spice mixture to coat this chicken. Uh, this is 
It's going to be delicious. This is going to be fantastic. Oh, yeah. Now, this mixture's, <clears throat> excuse me, um, this mixture is a little thick, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of water here because we don't want um, any notifications on our Ninja Foodie that there's not enough liquid. Okay, so we're going to add, it's about a half a cup of water. And we're just going to give this a stir because, like I said, we do not want that notification on the Ninja Foodie when we're trying to make this. There we go. All right, this looks great. All right, so onto this, we're going to be putting trivet. That'll just sink down into the chicken. That's fine. And you're going to take your jasmine rice and just put it on top. There we go. Now we're just going to go ahead and put the pressure lid on. Let me take you up to the back. You want to make sure that is set to seal. And it is. Let's go down to the control panel. All right, we're going to go ahead and cancel this out. I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. We're going to go to pressure, defaults to high. We're going to set the time for six minutes. And just go ahead and hit start. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes, actually 10 minutes and 27 seconds. We're going to go ahead and do a manual release. Okay, so tab's gone down in the back. We're going to take remove the lid. Shake off the excess water. There we go. Oh, it smells so good in here. I wish you guys were here to smell this. Now we're going to go ahead and take this rice pot out as best we can. See if we can grab it. Once again, be careful. I'm just going to go ahead and put this to the side for right now. All right, we're going to remove this trivet. Oops. There we go. Once again, be careful. I'm just going to put this right here for now. There we go. All right, let's give this a stir. Oh, this looks so good. Um, since I have you here, I do want to take a quick temp on the chicken just to make sure it's done. I'm sure it is, but I just want to do that quickly. Oh yeah, it's done. Overdone. Wow done. All right, so to this pot, um, you can go ahead and add one half cup of heavy cream. Or if you want to use coconut milk, you can use coconut milk as well. And you're just going to stir this in. And this is very, very watery. So what I'm going to do is actually turn the saute button on. And I'm going to pull the rice over so we can take a look at that. All right, I just set that trivet on the counter because I'm going to bring the rice back over. All right, we're going to go ahead and take this lid off. Be once again, be careful because this will be steaming. Ouch. Gonna go ahead, actually, I can use a fork this time. We're going to take this fork and fluff it. Um, according to the feel of this, this rice actually, this came out perfect in this pot. Just perfect. So what I'm going to do, I am going to dish some of this up and we're going to do a taste test. Okay, it is taste test time. Um, so let me give you a close up of this. That's the butter chicken and the jasmine rice is underneath. Let's go ahead and take a taste test of this. Let's see if we get a little piece of chicken there. This is very, very hot. Mmm. You have to make this butter chicken in your Ninja Foodie. Um, the only thing I think it might need is just a little bit more salt. Um, let's go ahead and try that rice. I mean, the rice, it came out extraordinaire in that um, pot. I think that's how I'm going to cook my rice from now on. Let's give the rice a taste. Perfect. Just perfect. Um, I'll be taking this all week for lunch and I'll also bring in some extra for some friends of mine. But I mean, go ahead and make this in the Ninja Foodie. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more fantastic videos using the Ninja Foodie.
Take care. Oh, so good.